All right, guys, this video is, um, it's going to be short because you see, guys, Luffy is dying. All right, that's kind of it. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> I can only imagine the looks on your faces. Oh, after dropping such a bomb. This guy just said bye, bye, the audacity. It's not funny. Chapter 1045 is the missing episode of Looney Tunes, guys. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. It is the missing episode of uh, well, the Looney Tunes. As guys, come on, let, let, let's just be honest. We all suspected this. And uh, well, Luffy is the son of that little bird. That little blue bird known as the Road Runner. Because this man is straight up now just a tune. Not really, but uh, wouldn't that be cool? Like, I, I can imagine how well Western animators would actually be like. They'll be like, oh god, Japan actually recognizes us. Oh, we're one of the cool kids. Now, Luffy might be dying, guys. And I know you probably thought I was joking, but no. From the last chapter, we pick it up right after Kaido apologizes to Luffy for the rude interruption caused by that uh, creepy guy, you know, that creepy dude. Well, uh, now we know that Super Zero really doesn't have standards. None at all. Of course, this man forgot that he attacked Luffy too. Yeah, boy. What a hypocrite. Oh, boy. But surprisingly, Kaido starts the first new chapter with a quick remark of how he's glad to see Luffy isn't dead. Alright, kill the Oz. Now, Kaido was so sure that Luffy was dead, and my boy responded in the most chilled manner, going like, Bruh, I thought I was a goner too, bruh, for sure. I never expected Kaido to be this analytical, to be honest. He actually made a very great observation. Let me, l let me borrow your words, boss Kaido, and, and don't kill me. He went on to say that, it should be safe to say you awakened your paramecia, but something about this feels off. Hmm, me smell some foul play. Oh my god, no, is that hell? He then proceeded to swallow Luffy whole while proclaiming a transformation like this is more typical of a Zoan fruit. And my boy is just there minding his own business, bouncing on the ground like Kaido isn't even there, guys. Like, uh, <laughs> well, this is uh, a new level of disrespect. Next thing we know guys, Luffy is suddenly chomped down by Kaido and that's it, Luffy died, end of video, goodbye. <laughs> oh boy, oh, oh man, my sense of humor really stinks, I have no funny bone in me. Now, like we already went through just how ridiculous this entire arc has become, what happened next was not a surprise as Luffy was not going to go down easily. Now, I've heard of people having bad cases of constipation, but this left us in anticipation for more. Huh? Oh my huh? God. See what I did there? Oh, done. Anyways, Luffy gave Kaido the worst stomach ache the beast had ever had and used his newfound ability to blow up like a balloon. But not just that, he was also able to change Kaido's body to something similar to rubber. So not only can Luffy affect his environment with his new ability, but he can affect organic life forms with this power. As Luffy and Kaido began their ascent to the skies, my boy saw the light in Kaido's belly. Now, let's be honest, we probably thought the same thing. I mean, come on. My, where are my dirty minded niggas out there? Come on. What happened next was, in my opinion, a straight up violation, guys. He was just like, I mean, Kaido was just raped. Guys, uh, and this, this is a crime. Someone really arrest this boy. This boy is a murderer. As Luffy stretched out his arms out of Kaido's head, turning them to something similar to rubber. This man is getting sillier by the minute. I, I, I can't take this. But guys, I have a simple query. How in the hell did Luffy see the light through Kaido's eyeballs if he was in his stomach? Yep, there goes 14 years of my education. Well, thanks Oda, you just violated my logical reasoning abilities. Hm, I'll never be, well, self-confident ever again. Well, of course, Luffy popped right out of Kaido and further proceeded to violate my boy with everyone watching and suddenly turning huge and proceeding to use Kaido as a freaking jumping rope. Yeah, that's right. Jump rope. Seriously. This is what we've gotten to, guys. This, this is what it is now. 
quick side note, you remember that gigantic straw head to Nimusama's shrine? Y yeah, I think we can guess who it belonged to, but just in case you missed it, yeah, it's Joy Boy or, or Nika, whichever you prefer yes. to call him. Kaido didn't appreciate Luffy's humor at all, guys, and he proceeded to scorch him with his blast burst. But come on, what's that gonna do? Kill him? Now, Yamato was so scared for Luffy when she saw this, but guys, this is Sun God Nika himself. Death has no hold over him. The power of liberation gave him the strength to do a peka, eka, eka wheelie, uh, the guys. The, 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 this, uh, <laughs> this kind of thing that we do in LSK, you know. My Xebamu LSK, they constantly do that, you know, like just ruining people's roads and all that. At this point, Kaido was just humoring Luffy, honestly speaking, because as soon as he approached him, my Nigi gave the hardest punch of his life to this boy. And his eyes popped out, but this time he affected everyone below as well, and their eyes popped out as well, guys. Seriously, it's getting hectic. But I just feel pity for poor Law, guys. Like, he probably regrets the decision he made to ally with Luffy, but I, I mean, come on. From, from the start, Luffy showed him that he would never actually take him seriously. Now, this punch was so powerful that Luffy began to lose his color. Yeah, that's how severe it is. And he began to revert to his normal form. Emotional, damn it! But lo and behold, what is this? You ask in, in the most non-cringy way? For the first time, Kaido was actually brought to his knees and of course at this moment he was trying to end this battle as quickly as possible. Cause no one has well ever beaten him, no one has ever done this to this beast guys. No one has actually made this nigga get to his knees guys, this is some straight up violation. Emotional, damn it! Of course, since Kaido isn't as honored as us, well, he still does not understand what Luffy is. But my boy is tired and he says, Look, kid, you're tired, I'm tired, so just die and I'll throw you a treat and I'll make sure everyone in your crew will be remembered as great warriors. You, you get that? You, you know, is it capish to you? But of course, Luffy just says, who cares about that? After all, only your bones are left after you die. So let's eat meat and fight some more. Of course, I'm just, uh, I'm just loosely interpreting all these guys. I mean, come on, it's Luffy and Kaido. Seriously, that's, that's what they actually mean. But guys, this is the scene that I really want to focus on. Now, don't worry, I'll, I'll finish the chapter, but I would like to focus on Momo's comments on Luffy's voice fading quickly. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time that Luffy has been left at death's door, but this one is seeming more and more different than the other times. Because unlike previous times, Luffy was battling fighters who are not as strong as Kaido. And honestly, this is one part that Oda got right. As opposed to the other times Luffy had battled certain characters, with them overpowering him during the first encounter and then Luffy turning around on them in the second battle, Kaido has been an entirely different story. This man has succeeded in pushing Luffy to the edge of death more than once. Unlike Luffy's previous fights, Kaido is not holding anything back. Let's remember guys, in the past, Luffy gave a lot of his years away in Impel Down and Marine Ford in an effort to save his brother. When we think about it, it was a foreshadowing of future events. Now there is a possibility that the 40 years Luffy gave up chapters ago are finally catching up to him. As Anton Chekhov once said, if you say in the first chapter that there is a rifle hanging on the wall, in the second or third chapter, it absolutely must go off. If it's not going to be fired, it shouldn't be hanging there. So I highly doubt that after Oda put so much emphasis on this matter, throughout both the Impel Down and Marineford arc that he would just forget about it so I say Luffy will die at the end of this series. But the thing is, is it now? Because let's not forget, he's really taking some damage and he's just running on fumes at this point. Luffy and Kaido's battle is one that we were all tricked by Oda into believing that once Luffy gained this ability, it would be a done deal. Clearly, he still feels pain and Kaido is not a pushover. 
Even though Luffy is coated in armament haki and Conqueror's haki, Kaido is still not relenting but this little point made by the king of the beasts is priceless. Even for a beast like him, it's quite clear that this devil fruit is living up to all the hype as he remarks that Luffy is fighting with so much freedom and honestly, he's never seen anything like it. But God, I have to say, this was straight up embarrassing. But after he was done giving the speech on how no one could ever beat him, Luffy punched straight through him. I hope that's uh, an optical illusion cause uh, that looks like it hurt. And for the first time, Kaido's back actually touched the ground guys, like seriously, this is some ground breaking shit right here. God. This is truly amazing, but let's see what happens in the next chapter and with that said guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more Marcy content. Plus, give this video a like and if you would like to see more One Piece content, just leave a comment below.